We are finishing up the section 20.10 inverse Fourier transform, uh, inverse Laplace transform. So um, now the last time we divide the formula. So basically now we have uh, an inverse Laplace transform of, uh, for a given Laplace transform F, Fs, okay. And that is, uh, Last time we talked about, we recovered the original function, but uh, pay attention that you now require that function to be zero when t is less than zero. So you might as well put the explicitly a step function here. So to remind yourself that this formula uh, required that you do the integral for t less than zero, you, you get zero. So the formula is uh, one over two pi i integral a beta minus i infinity to i infinity exponential s t and then the f uh, the the pass transform f s and now d s now the now the s is uh, integral integration in the compact s plane along the line. This is beta plus beta minus i infinity to beta plus i infinity. Okay, so uh, that's what we did last time. So just some um, simple examples to illustrate uh, what this integration means. So the, uh, these two. Examples are for very simple f, little f s, because uh, the inverse transform, we already know how to get that by table. Okay, so the first one, this f s is simply a constant divided by s squared minus a squared. We, we already know that uh, because uh, we have to divide this. Um, Laplace transform. When we do the example of Laplace transform, we did that. So, but now we just uh, you know, use this integration formula to try to what, get what what we have. So, what we get is uh, just putting everything inside. A is not included in the. Uh, the uh, no, not, two, not this one. Two pi i. Not in a is not uh, included in the integration, so pull it out. So the integration is beta minus i infinity beta plus i infinity, and now it's e to the s t divided by s square minus a minus s minus a times s plus a, and then d s. Okay, so we look at the complex S plane. Now we have two poles at uh, S equals to A and S equals to minus A. So you have two poles. So uh, that means that the beta has to, to be chosen towards the, the right of A. So, uh, so meaning beta must be greater than A so you can like draw a line here. So this is beta. Okay. And again, for t less than zero, you close it to the other side. So that makes sure that for negative t, you get zero. But for positive t, so this is for t greater than zero, you close it this way. So then uh, you have two. Um, post and the contribution from these two residue. So that means you have uh, two pi i times the residue. So you cancel two pi i, so a times, the first residue is s equals to a. So you multiply s minus a and substitute s equals to a. So you have e to the a t and that's two a. And the other one is s equals to minus a, so you multiply s plus a, 
and then uh, and then substitute s equals to minus a so we have minus e to the minus a t over 2a okay then uh, of course you can simplify that this uh, a cancel and one half including in this exponential function would be the sinh function sinh a t okay so that kind of uh, simple enough um, of course uh, do actually I just write uh, because we want taking care of the or the taking care of the step function is just where ft is equal to this one because theta t is including in this integral for t less than zero it will be zero so that included in this theta t but the, the form of the ft is given by this sinh function okay so uh, that's uh, the first simple example the second one Twenty point ten point two. Now the F S is also a simple one. It's one over S times one minus E minus A times S. Okay. So again, uh, then the F T theta t will be equals to one over two pi i beta minus i infinity beta plus i infinity and you have exponential function exponential your one over s exponential function s t minus exponential s t minus a and ds okay and for this one the situation is just uh, just only one pole at uh, at s equals zero so you can choose beta any positive value of beta should be fine okay so again for beta, for t is negative you close it to the other side so that the uh, the theta function be factored that so that will be zero. For t greater than zero, there's actually two cases because a is positive. So there's a case that uh, t is greater than a. The other case is that t is less than a but greater than zero. Okay, so uh, so for t greater than a. Okay, for t greater than a, then uh, both uh, we can close that. Uh, we can close the whole thing for t greater than a because uh, both term when uh, t greater than a, this is positive, t is positive, but you close it at the negative s, then uh, both will. The, the semicircle will be zero, so you can uh, then just write ft is equals to the residue of s equals zero. And when you substitute s residue, multiply by s and substitute s equals zero, so that equals to just one minus one, which is zero. Okay, so, uh, so. Uh, we got that. So the, the other one is when it, t is less than a, but it's still greater than zero, right? Then this situation is um, so. Uh, this is beta. When when you have this situation. This part uh, as t is greater than, than zero, but then t minus a is less than zero. So you need to close this one for the first term. 
but then you close it the other way for the second term. And when you close it the other way of the second term, there's no pole within this loop. So it means that the second term will have no contribution will be zero. Okay, the first term will, con will have a contribution as two pi i times the residue as zero, which is, we only know that it's one. So uh, f t will be equals to one. Okay, so uh, that cover all the cases. All right. So, of course, so t less than zero, then this fate of function will make sure that it's zero. All right, so uh, that kind of a uh, just very straightforward. So, uh, so the graphical f is just uh, this is t is a so it's one and drop to zero. And then of course you multiply a theta function is here, so it's kind of a hat function. Okay, so that's all in the discussion of this section and this chapter. I think uh, there's nothing else in this chapter. Now. So, uh, so we'll talk about something else later. <clears throat>